Aloha, I'm Dara Dung, your host of the Pet Hui, and this is Winston. Here's what's coming up in the next half hour. Pet Detective Alpha Dog needs your help getting Muffin back home. Plus, learn how the Beagle got its name. Plus, we'll be coming to you from the Cat Fanciers Association of Hawaii. We're there at their new location at the Blaisdell Center, where we're looking for the perfect feline. Aloha, I'm Dara Dung, your host of the Pet Hui. And once again, we are coming to you from the Cat Fanciers Association of Hawaii. And you might think that these cat lovers are only about purebred cats, but they are not. They are also about community cats as well. So we have the wonderful Linda to tell us a little bit about this program on Maui. Hi, Linda. Hi. So we have a new program on Maui called Save Maui Cats. And the purpose of our organization is to help to identify trap, neuter, release, and return community cats. The goal behind this is to make sure that we no longer have the problem of over, overpopulation of cats on the island of Maui. So we have a website and a Facebook page. We welcome donations. We really need volunteers, uh, people that are willing to help us trap and take cats in to get fixed. And thank you to Maui Humane Society who does this for us for free. They do the spay and neuter. So that's our, our project on Maui. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Linda. Here's what's coming up. I'm Lindsay Ficano with KITV. I'm so excited to be here today. This is the Cat Fancier Association. Uh, they are having their big cat show today at the Blaisdell. I can't say enough about how much I love cats. Hi, I'm Richard Fougier, a uh, veterinarian from King Street Pet Hospital, and we're at the CFA Cat Show at the Blaisdell. And this is Mr. Aloha. He's had a long day, so he's a little bit a little cranky. Uh, uh, we're Kaylin and Sean Bartonichek, and this is George. He's a golden Persian from Nikeli's Persians. Uh, this is our first cat show. We uh, have really enjoyed being a part of the Cat Fanciers family, and we've only had George for a year and a half. Uh, we embarked on this uh, cat show for the first time in our lives uh, through the breeder, Nance, uh, Natalie Playden, and we've really uh, enjoyed this experience. It's been incredible. Everyone's been super nice, super positive. Uh, the show has been super fun. We've had a ton of our friends join us with uh, George paraphernalia, <laughs> and we've really enjoyed this experience. We look forward to the next shows, for sure. I'm a big cat lover myself. I have one tabby at home um, that I rescued, and he's the love of my life. He's my son, so I'm a crazy cat lady. Right now, I am holding Mocha. He is a ragdoll kitty. He is actually from New Zealand. My name is Nathan, and my cat is Mindy. She is a silver Persian, and she is one year and one month old, and she also won two medals today. Um, we were very happy that she did it, and we were very also, we also very proud of her. You know, cats are great pets because they don't require much space. They're great for condos and apartments. Uh, they're low maintenance, you know, just a litter box, food and water, and lots of love. And what do you think, Mr. Aloha? There are 50 cats here at the CFA Cat Show. Uh, they are all competing for best in show, uh, 10 breeds in total. So there's so many to choose from, and these judges, they are going to have a hard time. Hi, I'm Brian Moser. I'm from Portland, Oregon. I'm here to judge the cats in beautiful Hawaii. Things I look for in the judging the cats, especially the pedigreed cats, we have a standard to go by, like the Siamese, a long tubular cat with a straight profile and beautiful set to the ears, and the colors are uh, blue, lilac, chocolate, and seal point. We have 43 different breeds we recognize, and so every, every breed has a different standard, so every time I go from one breed to the next breed, I'm switching gears and look for different things. So when it comes to household pets, what a judge looks and what I look for is cats that are maybe a little bit different, maybe uh, really interesting colors, but most of all, I'm looking for cleanliness, and cats that are uh, really put together, a lot of muscle tone. It's not so much how old the cat is, it's uh, the quality that they are. The household pet's the toughest thing to judge in the judging because, because there is no standard for them. Hi, I'm Richard Barber from Catify My Home. We're here at the CFA Cat Show. We have my friend Rio here and his beautiful Mancoon Duke. 
and we've been vending some of our cat grass. It's a beautiful mix of organic wheat, oats, rye and barley. It's 100% biodegradable. Pot and saucer look and feel like plastic. They're actually made of wheat bran and they'll last about five years before gently decomposing into the earth. We also have a uh, cat sitting side to the business where I travel around Ireland every day. I drop into people's houses and look after their kitty cats while they're away. There's a lot of enrichment activities and interaction. That's primarily what it's about. And uh, then we get on to the housework. You can call me on 808 238 9445 or go to catifymyhome.com. Thank you. I'm Larry. This is my cat, Obi, Obi Wan and he's been doing really well today. He's gotten uh, three best cats and three rings already, and he's a uh, purebred, uh, bred from grand champion parents, and he's just a wonderful cat. He's 16 months old, and uh, we live in Kapolei. This is the first show of the season. Uh, we have a show in October, we have a show in January, and one in March. The next show will be in January 19th at the Blaisdell, um, and we look forward to seeing you all there. Hey Ricky, how old do these sulcata tortoises get? They can get up to 150 to 200 years old. So if I get this little guy when I'm 30, then... You're going to have to leave him in your will for your kids. <laughs> the Pet Holly owners definitely know their pets. From the moment you and your best friends walk into VCA Kaneohe, they've got you covered. From the time your new friend joins the family with its first shots, to regular yearly visits and everything in between to ensure a long, healthy life for your pet. And if the unexpected happens, an illness or an emergency, VCA Kaneohe has a team of qualified vets on staff to handle any type of problem. With five locations on Oahu, VCA, your neighborhood choice for all your pet care needs. You too can discover many of Hawaii, now in the heart of Kaka'ako. Field? Are the flies driving you crazy? Hi, I'm Allie the Pooh Princess, and I'm cleaning the world of poop one yard at a time. To have Allie clean your yard, contact her at gotpoo.biz or 497-9273. What's in your backyard? Aloha, I'm Dara Dung, and welcome back to the Pet Hui. Once again, we are coming to you from the Cat Fanciers Association of Hawaii, and today we have Diane Stewart to tell us a little bit about this breed. Hi, Diane, can you tell us about this beautiful animal you have? Sure, this is a silver coloration Egyptian Mao female. She's about two years old. Uh, Egyptian Maos are considered the rarest breed of cats. Um, the Egyptians domesticated this cat somewhere around 1000 BC, and all domestic cats are genetically linked back to this cat. That's amazing. So I guess we can say that this guy's at the top of the pyramid. Here's more hui. Hi everyone, Pet Detective Alpha Dog. My mission is to help locate and return lost pets to their families. Now today, I'm out at the Windward Mall area of Kaneohe on Lilipuna Street, and we're looking for a cat named Muffin, about eight years old. Let's go get the scoop on Muffin. Hello. Hi, Jessica. Pet Detective Alpha Dog. I came to find out some information on Muffin, your cat that's missing. After speaking with Jessica, this is what I found out. We're looking for eight-year-old Muffin. She's a female domestic long-haired cat with a long bushy tail. She weighs approximately 12 pounds and is mostly gray calico in color. Now her right ear is smaller than the left ear and her right eye is slightly protruding from a past injury. She is microchipped and spayed and friendly, but very shy. And there is a reward for her safe return. Now this happened Friday, October the 19th, about 8.30 when Jessica got home, she realized that her house was broken into and her cat Muffin was missing. Now we're not sure if Muffin was stolen or if she merely got out during the burglary. At any rate, Muffin is missing and Jessica really misses her. 
my cat went missing and I really miss Muffin. She was my child. I, she was a rescue. I got her from South Carolina. Um, no one really wanted her. She had a lot of issues when I first got her and we are just really close. Um, she's very shy, so I'm very worried that she got out because um, I know she's probably really scared. Um, we spend all of our days together. I come home from work. She's the first thing I see. Um, so it's really hard not having her here. Um, when I get home from work, she's the first thing I want to see. We sleep together almost every night. Um, so I just hope that if anyone sees her, they can call me. Because um, she's just my favorite thing. She's, she's getting older and I just wanted to have her till the end of her life. Um, and we were really enjoying being here in Hawaii. Um, so if you guys, if anyone sees her, if you could call me at 817-487-6106. And I am offering a $500 reward if anyone finds her. Once again, folks, here are the facts. We're looking for eight-year-old Muffin, who's a female domestic long-haired cat with a long bushy tail. She weighs approximately 12 pounds and mostly gray calico in color. Her right ear is smaller than the left ear and her right eye is slightly protruding from a past injury. Now she is microchipped, she is spayed, she's friendly but shy, and there is a reward for her safe return. Let's do all we can to get Muffin back home safely and make Jessica and the family happy. Once again, this is Pet Detective Alpha Dog saying thank you for watching, and remember, it is the law, so leash them or lose them. Courteous, knowledgeable staff and a pet-friendly atmosphere make the Pet Holly Hawaii's neighborhood pet store. Locally owned and operated in the Melilani Shopping Center, the Pet Holly offers thousands of pet products and dozens of hand-raised pets from our family to yours. From finches to greenway macaws, from guinea pigs to large breed puppies, our store is home to pet lovers of all ages. Open Monday through Saturday 10 to 8 and Sunday 10 to 6. Find us on Facebook and online at thepetholly.com. Living in Hawaii, you need the best. And WeatherTech floor mats from Wetokoli are the perfect choice. When those unfortunate accidents happen and your plate lunch goes to the floor, WeatherTech mats will be there to protect and they're easy to clean. Deep channels trap water, dirt, mud, and sand. And they're available for hundreds of makes and models. So no matter what you drive, you'll find the perfect fit. WeatherTech floor mats. Find them at Wetokoli on Dillingham, just Eva of Kalihi Street. Aloha, I'm Dara Dung coming to you from the Cat Fanciers Association of Hawaii and we are here with Donna who's the president of Cat Fanciers of Hawaii. Donna, can you tell us a little bit about this organization? Yeah, we're a cat club. We are cat fanciers, we cat enthusiasts and we get together and promote cats. So does someone have to have a purebred cat in order to be a part of this club? No, actually we have the pedigreed categories, uh, champion, premier, and we also have household pet and kitten. So household pets do not have to be pedigreed. So nice, so everyone's welcome. Everyone's welcome. So if someone wants to become a part of this club, then how do they get a hold of you? The best way to get in touch with us would be to contact me, 291-5868. Perfect. Say that one more time for people just tuning in. Okay. 291-5868. Perfect. Thanks, Donna. Here's more hui. Agility is a sport for both dogs and handlers, which is why it's fun. So there's dog training involved, as well as the athletic part of running with your dog and having a good time doing a sport out in a lovely park with your, your animal. So you've got the dog training aspect, and that dog training does not involve a lot of technical uh, areas like obedience does, but it's a lot more fun. The dogs actually enjoy climbing on the equipment, running through the tunnels, doing the sets of weave poles. So it's a very participatory sport in that the dogs are having a good time right along with the handlers. So this is Christy with her German Shepherd Cyrus and she's been involved uh, competing for about a year with her dog, sort of at the entry level. 
and uh, German Shepherds are well-known working dogs, but not necessarily uh, one of the more uh, seen dogs in the agility sport, but she does an incredible job with her dog. So let's come over and go back and start at the jump and uh, approach the A-frame uh, over the red jump and down the dog walk again and see if we can get her to stop on the end of that contact this time. Very nice. So the contact equipment consists of three different pieces. This is the dog walk, we have the A-frame, which is a larger, wider board, and we have the seesaw, which actually moves. There's a yellow zone at the bottom of each one of these pieces of contact equipment, and the dog must touch at least one paw on this yellow zone. So one of the methodologies for a large dog is actually to teach them to stop in the zone with two feet on the ground and two feet on the board. So this is Lesh and his Shetland Sheepdog, JJ. And he is one of the most competitive handlers here on the Hawaiian Islands and just recently came back from competing at the American Kennel Club's uh, national event which was held in Reno two weeks ago and in two weeks he's headed off to the American Kennel Club's World Team Triumphs. What makes Les and JJ a very competitive team is the dog has a lot of speed and enthusiasm. You see she's playing with the toy. Uh, Les is athletic and the dog is athletic so she's got um, trainability, she's smart, and she's athletic, and that puts together a very nice agility team. As you can see, her athletic ability takes her up and over those contacts as fast as she can be, and then the precision of making sure she gets a contact zone. This is freestyle. So he's not actually following a course, he's just training his dog over the A-frame, over the jump. So this is what we do sort of on a weekly or a monthly basis with our dogs. We just got done running with JJ on an agility course. Uh, we do the, try to do this once a week. It's very good exercise and it's great team building with her and she's a great dog to play with. JJ's a four and a half year old dog. She's pretty young in agility right now. Um, our goal is to compete at a, at a good national level, try and get some placements in nationals, and uh, go from there, see how, how far we can get in the world. What I've noticed over the years of training with the handlers that I've met coming to our camps and also training here in Hawaii is that the, this agility community is really, is really a community. The handlers are all look out for each other, they participate together, they're a small knit group, uh, and it's like one of the most friendly, wonderful places for me to come and teach every single year. You can learn about us by going to hawaiianagility.com. Your dog is our best friend. Whether it be in full service grooming, lodging, socialization, or just a nail trip, Tales of Hawaii is here for you. Give us a call at 676-9663. Your dog is our best friend at Tales of Hawaii. You work hard all day long. And when it's time to play, you play just as hard. And through it all, your wet Ocoli seat covers are working hard too. Taking the punishment you give them and defying the effects of dirt, sand, and water. Wet Ocoli can handle everything your lifestyle demands. And when it's time to relax, you know you've made a smart investment. No matter what your lifestyle, Wet Ocoli has you covered. If your pet suffers an injury, possibly life-threatening, there's a good chance it will happen outside regular business hours. That's why it's good to know that the VCA Family Hospital in Pearl City is open to provide 24-hour emergency veterinary care. Program the phone number for the Pearl City VCA Hospital into your smartphone. All five VCA Family Hospitals on Oahu provide the highest standards in emergency and critical care services. VCA.
Aloha, I'm Dara Dung and welcome to the Pet Hui. Once again, we're coming to you from the Cat Fanciers of Hawaii. And if you were ever wondering what the Fancy Feast cat food cat was, we have one to our left and we have Miss Natalie Playden to our right who's going to tell us a little bit about the Persians. This, these are special kind of Persians. The Fancy Feast cat is actually a shaded silver Persian and that's what this little girl over here is. This guy here is a shaded golden Persian. And they're very, very similar except for one small genetic factor. And they're wonderful pets. They're relaxed, lazy as a matter of fact. And they like to sit on your lap and make biscuits and purr. Well, they sound just like the perfect cat. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the grooming? Well, there is some grooming. If you want them to look like this all the time, you need to comb them once a day and, and probably clean their eyes a little bit. But if you do that, it's really not a big deal and you have this absolutely angelic looking cat in your home all the time. Perfect. Thanks so much, Natalie. Here's what's next. Hi, I'm Tanya Huntley and I've been offering personalized pet sitting services here in Hawaii for over seven years. I'm always looking for fun, exciting places to take my clients' dogs, and I've come across the Alawai Dog Park. Monty and I are gonna check it out. As with any great dog park, the first thing you'll notice is a double-gated system. In this area, I can actually take Monty off leash and then choose between the large dog park or the small dog park. Considering Monty's size, we're gonna go with the small dog park. The Alawai Dog Park is brand new. It's only been open for a few days. It's got a stunning view of the Alawai Canal and Waikiki. They've planted plenty of trees here, but since the park is brand new, they're a little small, but give it a few years. One cool thing about dog parks is toys accumulate, and that's a great thing for Monty. But to keep this place fun for the dogs, there have to be rules, and they're conveniently posted at the entrance of the dog park, so make sure you read them. Also take note that the park is closed for maintenance every Tuesday from 7 a.m. to noon. Dog park etiquette is to bring your own poop bag, but if you forget, they have some here. The officials of the Alawai Dog Park said they'd be installing a water fountain soon, but for now, bring your own water, because it does get hot. If you don't live in the area, finding the Alawai Dog Park might be a little tricky. It's located between Iolani School and the Alawai Canal bike path. Right now it's lunchtime and hardly anyone is here because it's so hot. The park is open until 10 p.m. There are a lot more dogs than people socializing once it gets cool. This neighborhood's been working hard for years to get this dog park up and running. So it's time to enjoy it. So come on down and have some fun. To find out more about Tanya, go to her website, malupetland.com. The Pet Holly cares about the future of your puppy, and to show it, they offer the following. Every puppy receives a vet exam before purchase, first vaccinations, deworming, 15% off all pet supplies on day of purchase, a five pound bag of Nutrisource puppy food, another vet exam, and a one year thousand dollar health warrant. So if you're interested in adding a new member to your family, come down to the Pet Holly at the Mililani Shopping Center, or you can call their shop at 696-1083. Aloha, Beanie here. Aloha Kia Guy goes everywhere I go. Let's get that straight. I make sure things are done right. Knowledgeable salespeople. Service-oriented personnel. Experienced mechanics. Test drives like this Kia Nero that you can lease for $188 a month. That comes with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. And my favorite, happy Kia owners. Log on to alohakia.com to see all the great deals. See ya in a Kia. The O'ahu SPCA offers low-cost spay-neuter, wellness, and other veterinary services at our new shelter and clinic in Wahiawa. O'ahu SPCA's affordable spay-neuter clinics and adoption services are helping to humanely reduce the number of homeless animals. Call 754-1519 or online at oahuspca.org. O'ahu SPCA, helping animals, saving lives. And today it's all about the Beagle. I'm with Taryn. Hi, Taryn. Hi. You are the uh, proud owner of Macy right here. And how old is Macy? Uh, Macy's about to turn eight. What about their temperament? Um, beagles are very, very friendly. They're very loving. Um, they can be very disobedient. <laughs> <laughs> and let's find out some more facts about the beagle. 
Beagles are one of the most popular breeds in the United States. They date back to the 1500s and were first recognized by the AKC in 1885. A National Beagle Club was formed in 1888. Beagles are members of the Hound Group. Beagles are even-tempered and are happy-go-lucky around their family. They do bark, but usually because they are confronted by strangers or strange situations. They do need regular exercise because they are prone to weight gain. Beagles are considered to be one of the best breeds to get along with cats. The lifespan of a beagle is generally 10 to 13 years. And beagles don't drool. Well, from what I understand, the way beagles got their name is from the French word for bugle. And uh, the way their throats have evolved over time, it just sort of has this amplified bay that can be heard for miles and miles. <laughs> Beagles are intelligent, but because they are so single-minded and determined, they can be hard to train. They are obedient, but can be distracted by scents. Speaking of scents, beagles, along with bloodhounds, have the best sense of smell of any dog. That's why they're used as detection dogs at airports and other import facilities. They're preferred at airports because they're cute and few people are scared of them. Because of that great sense of smell, beagles in some parts of the world are used to sniff out termites. And the name beagle goes way back. Purebred beagles have a either all white tail or a white tip at the end of their tail, and that was bred into them so that as they're moving through the woods and brush, they're able to be visible. If the dog is invisible but that white tip is sticking up, then you know where they are. Beagles come in a variety of colors, but the markings are usually consistent. Beagles were originally used in the 1500s by Englishmen to hunt rabbits. That's part of their hound pattern. Another fact about the beagle is that they were bred to be able to be on the hunt in a pack all day and run with the horses. So they have a lot of energy and a lot of stamina. What's their personality like around the house? Um, they'll basically hog the couch. So if you're sitting on the couch, they'll take your spot and be on you. You know, and so, and they want your food, so whatever you're eating, they want it. Thank you for bringing Macy by and talking to us today. And now you know all about the beagle. <laughs>